Hi guys, so it's time for my 2023 beauty favorites. This is going to be my skincare favorites, makeup favorites, hair care favorites, all in one. We gotta change the game. We out here taking names. Let our voices rise. Let them reach the skies. We gotta change the game. Let's go. Number one on my skincare list has to be the Laneige Water Bank Hyaluronic Cream. Now, this is something um, I started using this year. I've gone through three jars, okay, in this year, like really big pots. I bought one from Korea as well. It's one of those, you know, creams that works well in summer, winter. I'm that person that likes light, like moisturizers. It's like a gel and you just put it in, it gets absorbed. I'm wearing it right now as well. And it still gives you that hyaluronic acid, you know, boost and glow that you're looking for and radiance. Um, so I just feel like it works really, really well. Of course, if you're in a very heavy like winter kind of setting you might want something heavier but in a place like bombay it works really well then we have the thank you farmer sunstick now this is something new that i kind of discovered this year and i told you guys how i'm blown away with like the whole sunstick angle of not having to use your fingers and stuff and it being great on the go and this has been my go-to sunscreen i love it i love the other one that you will also see but this one it's just so easy to use, so convenient. When I was in Seoul, I was in my Airbnb and you know, I clicked it too much suddenly and it just plopped on the floor. And my instinct was to go with my five second rule like I do with my food and I quickly grabbed it, scraped off the top, put it back and started using it again. That's how much I love it and I didn't really want to waste it. I was like, okay it's fine it's fine it's fine and it's just really really good and it's one of those products that i feel like i'm going to use for a long time okay then we have the laneige water bank hyaluronic cleansing gel i will warn you guys there's a lot of laneige a lot of sulvasu um i think a lot of korean products because i was there and i also love k beauty i feel like k beauty products work really well for me and my skin at least and uh, especially laneige i use a lot of laneige i've realized but this one is one of my favorite face washes of the year again i use like two big bottles of this um i feel like with face wash for me it's something that i really like to use morning and evening and i like that you know that fresh clean feeling that you get with it and this one really gives you that it's like that you get that glow but it's still that squeaky clean feeling i've tried a lot of other gel or foam based cleansers that don't give you that like you know you still have that slight oil residue on your skin because i do have like an oily t-zone with this one i don't i feel really really fresh after it and i really love it it definitely is one of my favorites then we have benefits for professional deep pretty clay mask this is the best clay mask out there right now guys um i love it it comes in a pot you just put it on and again as i said for me i like masks and cleansers and all that really cleanse and you really see that with this like on the nose area you see like all the gunk and the goo coming out and it's like you see the dots on your nose and it's so satisfying to watch and then when you wash it off you have this like shiny uh, glowy skin and it's like instant like i feel like with this product the first time i used it at the launch uh, in singapore i instantly felt that glow on my skin which you don't see with a lot of products right like you have to use them for a while but since it's a mask it's it's just something i feel that you put on before a night out or you know like right now with the festive season and you're going out a lot or using a lot of makeup or it's cold and you want something extra for your skin this just does wonders now you guys know how much i love a good scrub the loxitan almond shower scrub is fantastic it's a scrub i've used all year round um i'm someone that uses a scrub like once or twice a week and this just comes really well I like the fact that it's packaged in uh, a tube instead of a jar because I feel like the jar ones, you get your fingers into them like wet fingers and then the scrub becomes like soggy and you have to use it up really quickly. With this one, because it's a shower scrub and kind of comes like a, you know, shower gel or whatever. And it's just a really nice exfoliation that it gives you. It's not harsh or hard. You can use it once or twice a week uh, all year round and you still feel like, yeah, all that grime and dirt is off your skin, but it's not like harsh which is why it is definitely my favorite scrub. Then we have the Sulwasu Gentle Cleansing Foam. Now, I was really surprised by this, honestly. I've had this bottle 
lying with me for a while it was a pr package that came and i had just never used it but after using my laneige foam i loved it so much and i was like you know laneige the foam worked so well for me uh why don't i just try this since i have it instead of buying a new bottle and i actually tried it and it was so good i finished the bottle um i got another one also it's what i'm currently using right now it's similar to the laneige one but i feel like this is more luxe like this is a thicker gel and as you you know kind of apply it uh it foams and cleanses and stuff but it's like thicker than the laneige gel uh if that's you know any help um it just feels more luxe is what i mean when you use it but i like both these cleansers and i feel like these are going to be like my go to cleansers even next year Then we have Clinique Moisture Surge um, again one of my favorite moisturizers of all time. I feel like I mix things up with the Laneige one and this one in between I use whatever I have because I also get a lot of PR packages and stuff so I don't like to waste products so the ones that work for me I like switch them up in between. Also remember guys if you're watching this video don't feel pressure to buy all or any of these products you can just watch it for entertainment as well. I get a lot of products as PR packages and uh, I get to try them but only spend money on stuff that you really need or you feel that really works for you get testers as I always say try it and then buy a bigger bottle or just don't buy anything just watch it it's okay. <laughs> so yeah Clinique Moisture Surge for me is one of those creams that always works for me all year round winter summer especially in summer i really like it because it's extremely lightweight and i would say it's even lighter than the laneige one the laneige one is still a little thicker like a more of a jelly and this one is more of a very light gel um so there's a little difference in the consistency they both kind of give you the same effect post that uh but this one i feel is even lighter so in like bombay summer where it's humid and sweaty in the day this one works wonders now it's time for some old favorites the bioderma sensibo water you guys know i have used this for years and years and years to remove my makeup and it's still one of my favorites i take it on my trips i have the little mini bottle i have a jumbo bottle uh for like all my basic makeup stuff it just gets everything off and Again for me I'm not someone that wears a lot of foundation or heavy makeup so this works really well. Uh maybe if you do wear a lot you might need a cleansing oil or something heavier. For me this has worked wonders and it's just one of those things that I'm like if it works just stick to it. You know what I mean because it's something you use all the time. And I have very sensitive skin and despite that with all the rubbing and the cotton and whatever it has never like given me any kind of a reaction so I love it. I have loved it and I will love it. Then we have the Laneige sleep mask. Now you guys have seen this in a hundred videos, I think, because it's so 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 good. I think it's the best overnight sleep mask, even after all these years. Like even right now, when I was in uh, Seoul in Olive Young, it was still the best seller and number one product in terms of overnight mask. I don't think anyone has beat it. And it's just one of those products, as I said, if you want that extra hydration, that extra you know vibrancy, plumpness, or even just that like. Um, plum happy skin it works really really well just even with one use you know so i if i have an event the next day or whatever i always use this the previous night or if it's like winter like right now and my skin feels a little dry i feel like this works really well then as well then we have one of my all time favorite sunscreens the istin photo protect sunscreen if you're looking for thicker coverage or a, like a really solid sunscreen this is something that has worked wonders for me in fact recently my dermatologist recommended a stronger version of this because of like the pigmentation i've been getting here on my nose and stuff like that and i've been using that one as well and it's just equally good So this is just one of those go-to sunscreens that you know you can't go wrong with and I I don't think anyone has ever said it doesn't work for them. Yes, it's pricey, it's expensive, but it really does the job. And last but not the least in my skincare favorites, we have the Laneige Lip Sleep Mask, which is um a different flavor to the one I usually use. I used to use the pink one and now I started using the purple one, which is Gummy Bear, which is so so yummy. It's one of those lip masks that actually stays on for a while because it's thicker, it doesn't come off. You can eat, you can you know use it through the day as well. And especially in winter, it really really works wonders. Like this morning my lips were really chapped. I just put it on for an hour and tada. Up next we're going into makeup okay so I don't have a lot of makeup favorites but there are some products that have been so good for me that I have used them all year round starting with my lipstick so this is the Etude House fixing tint uh you guys know I have kind of used this through the year 
I have a lot of shades in the lipstick. It lasts through the day, it looks amazing and it doesn't dry your lips. What else do you need? Now, if you ask me to recommend one brow product this year, this would be it. The Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. Okay, this is so fantastic. Um, Umang used this on my brows and I just can't stop using it. Like even right now, I have nothing else on my brows. Like I don't even, if I'm not using any, uh, you know, pencils or filling them in, I just like brush it backwards with this and then just set them and then boom, it just stays like this forever. I use this on my Korea trip as well. Like if you're looking for a polished, nice brow that stays in place without filling it in, without a lot of like tam jam, this is amazing. It's also great if you're filling your brows in and you want to set them, but I feel like even without, it just does a great job. Then we have the Clinique Black Honey Lipstick. Okay, so now if we're looking at something in a balm space, that's a balm slash lipstick, I really, really like this. I love that it's also a product where you kind of make it your own and it's unique right it looks different on everybody's lips it looks different when you layer it with other lipsticks as far as viral products go i feel like this one was one of my favorites from that space as well um and yeah it was just a really nice balm lipstick then we have the cushion foundation from Laneige. I am a sucker for cushion foundations. I love how they look and feel on my skin. I feel like they give you the right amount of coverage, but without looking cakey and it just kind of looks really light and fresh. So I use this day and night. And if you're looking for like a nice light foundation, this is it. I don't think Laneige does makeup in India yet, but you get it pretty much everywhere duty free when you travel. I bought this when I was in Singapore and uh, I regret not buying more now when I was in Korea because I'm like, what am I going to do when this gets over? When we talk about mascara, there is one mascara that has stood out and is my absolute favorite bad gal bang from Benefit. I have used this Tons of times, I have the tiny bottle, the big bottle, uh, it's in my handbag, it's in my makeup kit. It's just the perfect mascara for me where I know, it, like, you know, I just curl my lashes, put it on and that's all I need. Most of the time, I don't even wear like eyeshadow, it's just mascara, brow, like wax and lipstick. This is my look. Then we have the Etude House Water Base Tint in the shade Orange Aid. Now, you guys know my love for orange and uh, somehow with lip tints, I do like a peachy orange vibe. Like I don't like a very pink, pink vibe necessarily. And this one has really been my go-to through this year. Like I wear it under lipstick. I'm wearing it under this right now because what happens is I feel like even once the lipstick starts to fade or come off, uh, you still have that tint under or I like to layer it with my lip balm and it just looks really nice, you know, with clear balm and you just Put this on i just feel like it's really worth the money it's affordable you can use it without thinking 20 times like with benetint i somehow feel like i'm like oh my god like use it a little at a time because it's so expensive with this you're just like huh okay whatever you know you can keep using it not thinking apply three coats also and you're good and i feel like the orange shade is just really unique what like a lot of tints give you the pink they have a pink as well but the orange one is my favorite then in the more luxe tint space obviously uh, we don't have Benetint this year, guys. I am not saying Benetint is my favorite tint. I'm saying Flora Tint was one that I use a lot more than Benetint actually this year. Because I feel like it has a really pretty, very that English rose kind of a shade. And uh, I feel like it works really well for me. Uh, with Benetint, a lot of the time, I want to layer it with balm or a lipstick and stuff. With this, I just feel like I can just put that on and it looks and feels like a lipstick. So I love it. Then last but not the least, we have the MAC Lock Kiss Lipstick. I know you guys were waiting for that because you've seen it in a zillion videos. Again, if you're looking for a luxe matte lipstick, this one is amazing. It's like kiss proof, waterproof, everything proof. It's just very expensive. <laughs> but they have amazing shades. It lasts all day and it's just a great, great, great lipstick. And finally, we've made it to hair care. I feel like there's so many products this year that we're talking about, guys. Number one on my list is the Aveda Scalp Solutions um, actual, you know, solution that you apply on the scalp to exfoliate the scalp. If you're someone that suffers from a flaky scalp like me, this is just great for exfoliation. You feel that tingle. Um, it really, really does the job and it exfoliates the scalp. And I think even for people that don't have a flaky scalp, it's something you should maybe do every few weeks and it'll really just kind of refresh your scalp uh, one of my all-time favorite products then we have the l'oreal professional scalp advanced shampoo which is again great if you have a flaky scalp dandruff 
Uh, it really, really cleans your scalp out really, really well. It's also, I guess, more affordable than Aveda. Aveda in general as a brand is more expensive, but their products are amazing. Also, I like to use like two, three shampoos in a year. You guys have probably noticed this about me. Also, at any given time, I usually use two shampoos. Uh, one is for my flaky scalp and one is like for my drier hair. So the next one is my favorite shampoo for dryness. It is the Aveda Nutri Plenish range, the shampoo conditioner. This was like kind of my go-to shampoo for the year. And then I kind of supplemented it with other shampoos here and there or use something for my dandruff along with this because that has really worked well for my hair. And I feel like this is a shampoo that I've used over like many years on and off, but this year I've actually used it quite a bit and I really like it. Then we have the K9 Frizz Dismiss Oil. Um, you guys have seen this in my videos. I've been using it for pretty much the whole year. I think um, it's great before like ironing your hair, post a wash. Um, in terms of hair serums, there are two that I really love. There's this one and then there is the Extraordinary Oil from L'Oreal, which is again more affordable. Um, loved both these. I feel like the K9 one is a little lighter on the hair. Like for someone that has frizzy hair like mine, I can use a lot of product and it still feels light. The L'Oreal one, I have to use less because it's heavier in terms of an oil. This one I feel also works really well if you want to put a lot before an actual like washing your hair like as a conditioner before. Like I like to oil it, put some, you know, like four or five pumps in my hair, leave it for 20 minutes and then rinse it. Uh, works well that way as well. So that is it guys, uh, this list is much longer than last year and I feel like there was a lot more on this list that I had to cut out because I was like otherwise I feel like I'm saying like three and four things for each thing but these are products that have really really stood out to me this year and that I've really really liked. So guys those were my favorite products for the year. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and comment below with your favorite products for the year because I want to try some new stuff next year. See you guys, bye!